Hi everyone, this is I am Sagar Shah and today I'm going to make a video on the new features of Chessbase 17. A lot of you had been asking me to make this video since Chessbase 17 was released roughly a month ago. But I decided to take my time. The reason is that I wanted to explore it more on my own and also to show it to a few players whom I meet. So when I went to Tata Steel, I showed it to the top players of Indian chess. I tried to get their feedback, worked with them. And now finally, I can make this video and explain to you even better. What are the best features, the new features of Chessbase 17? Now, the first thing that I love a lot about this is beauty medals. Let's have a look. Beauty medals is a feature in Chessbase 17 that ranks the games as per the beauty involved with medals given. Let's say, for example, I have this database with the best games of Hikaru Nakamura. Okay, I just extracted there are 6500 games. I took it from my mega database here. Uh, and when I open it, it's very important that it is in the new format that is 2CBH format. I'm going to talk about it a bit more uh, in the coming minutes, but it should be in the new format. What happens then is that you go to games and you say set beauty. And when you click on it, it goes through all the games that are there here and it sets beauty to it. So you will see here a new column has been added called set beauty. Now when you click here, you will see that the games have been all arranged in the beauty order. All these have three medals, then they have two, then they have many games of his have two medals. This also goes to show and then one medal that Hikaru is a very aggressive player. And because beauty here is mainly defined by sacrifices. So that's the reason. Let's look at the first game and you will realize what, why this game got a beauty medal. So Hikaru is black. He's playing against Wesley. So he goes for the King's Indian. Knight c6, the main line variation. Knight d7, f3, f5, f4. Ooh, we are going for this huge attacking line. c5, knight f6, rook f7, h5, takes, takes, knight b5, a6, knight a3 b5 rook c6 g4 and now uh, bd7 rook c7 bishop h6 h4 fg and now starts the brilliance first he gives up a pawn then he gives up a knight then this is worthy of analysis then a rook then check then bishop comes here the rook is still hanging bishop g3 he takes here knight h4 Queen at six and then what a game this is beautiful. I mean, I would take hours to analyze this, but you see within a couple of clicks, I could find this amazing game of Hikaru Nakamura and same way I can look at some other games like for example, his very uh, famous game against Krasenkov where he sacrifices here Bishop F Queen F2. That was a beautiful move. Uh, sacrificing and then winning here so you can find these things very quickly also you don't need to once you open this game now you might think oh but what is great here I need to know it very quickly then chess base 17 also gives you a very nice button here which is the red button called detect sacrifices and when I click on it here it quickly shows you the positions where, sac where sacrifices were made so here knight f3 check g takes f3 queen h4 fg takes check check and then again this is the moment where it finds uh now you have to find another move here after bishop c3 this b5 and beautiful move this move b5 the main point was to stop queen takes b7 but you found b b5 and after this once again it was a mate so you are able to find these quickly this the most important points in the game by just clicking one button so how can you make it work firstly i think the best way 
to make use of this feature is that you want to know about a player he could be your opponent he could be a great player of the past let's say for example i go to uh, my mega database by the way i have converted my mega database into a 2cbh file here's a small tip for you whenever you get mega database right click on it convert to 2cbh you can then it will take you roughly half an hour or so to convert it and then whenever your database is ready in 2cbh format then you can go to games and put set beauty in the entire mega database it might take three to four hours so do it overnight this set beauty thing but all your games will have beauty medals then and it becomes very easy for example now i want to look at the games of uh, let's say someone told me you should look at the games of tal okay so here i have written tal uh, and mikhail tal here he is mikhail tal and these are the games and i click on beauty and i will see that there are so many games that i can find quickly let's say for example the game between um, miller oof this is a beautiful game by the way and this is already annotated but i can quickly click on this uh, detect sacrifices button here on the top right and i will know exactly firstly here he sacrifices a bishop so this also becomes training material let's say you are a trainer you want to teach someone you go to set beauty medals detect sacrifices here's the position for you like even here queen e5 what should white do h4 crazy move what a move this was this just blew my mind when i saw it because uh the queen can't take the queen it's a mate here and uh queen g3 rook d1 queen takes rook d5 and somehow this one so you know learning things quickly has become very easy here's another thing which you can do and by the way very interesting you can go to live and this live button has this uh, shows you the recent games that were played the very recent one so let's say for example sunway sidges has started first round and i want to know what has happened there now this database is not in 2cbh so when you go here it will not show you set beauty so what i do is i do control a control c i copy all the games then i go to my databases and i create a new database now when I create this, I get an option uh, whether I want to create in CBH, which is the old one, PGN, but I should create in 2CBH format and I will write the name Sunway Sidges round one. Okay, here it is created now. I open it and I paste all the 17 games in this. Now you will see I have the 17 games. I go here and I do set beauty and you will see that. <coughs> There is no game that has three medals, but here's Neiman's game that he played, which was very beautiful. I can keep this tactical analysis, which is there. I can also remove it. So I can say delete all commentary. Now I have a very plain game. And once again, here you will see that there is this red button of detect sacrifices. Let me click on it. And you will see that at this very point, uh, Neiman came up with something spectacular here black to play wow bishop h6 now that is insane move amazing he came up with this very nice move and managed to win because he got to the king first so you were able to see the spot the best game that was there in a jiffy you know what was there Let's say this one, Abhimanyu Puranik. Why did Abhimanyu's game come here? Let me just delete uh, all commentary. Otherwise, I would see through the game, but I can also click on this red button and I have two moments. So first, he took on f7 and Abhimanyu took back. Bishop takes king g7, important moment. And now another moment here, black to play. Bishop f1. That is a pretty move. And this is not even a sac. Actually, that's not a sacrifice. You're sacrificing here. But <coughs> it spotted it. And you were able to find, wow, these are the great games that happened yesterday. So, beauty medals has many uses. One, you can gauge what your opponent 
is like if you're playing someone tomorrow you would know oh he's a many beauty medals seems like an aggressive player you can find best games of any player very quickly uh tactical ones positional still not so easy to find through beauty medals you can find the games of the great masters of the past and you can use it i'll show you one quick use of this because it can be very very helpful for you uh, for all the players like let's say for example i do uh, Alec Hine. Someone told you, oh, go and study games of Alec Hine. So here they are. I do beauty. Uh, let's say this is one good game of Alec Hine that I want to study here against Lista. And I go to replay training. And this is a very good way to train yourself. You are white now. You can take your Alec Hine's moves. Okay. Opening can differ. But the nice thing about replay training is that, by the way, replay training is not a new feature. It was there in chess base 16, but it's very good to use with beauty medals after finding a game so even if you guess the right move like let's say here he did not play e5 he had played knight g2 you don't lose points you are on eight out of eight a3 bishop e7 knight e4 knight here maybe knight g3 castles bishop d3 okay this is a bad move now because the queen takes d4 is hanging so i lost points here i lost two points so um what should I do? Maybe I should play c3, c6, bishop d3, b6, castles. And in this way, you can train yourself. Queen e2, knight d7. And this, by the way, knight f6 was not a bad move, so I didn't lose points. Knight d5, bishop d2, rook a1, perhaps. I'm waiting for when the fireworks are going to begin here. Uh, f4, c5. f5 knight g5 oh he played now i am sure there's something going to happen let's just randomly play something king h1 is a mistake that's not a good move and now i can try again so in this way you can actually uh try things ah yes yes i know i know what to do knight e6 f e queen e6 king h8 knight f maybe i can just take this Ah, rook e8. See, this is a bad move. I lost a lot of points there. Knight f5, bishop here. I'm sure he sacked something here. Rook g8 is very strong. So, be careful. Knight d6 is met with bishop d5. So, I'm not thinking right now. But if you do this, you will become extremely strong. You know, you will be able to guess the best moves uh, in a very interactive way and get stronger. So that was about the beauty medals. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it. You can prepare for an opponent. You can get to know about the good games of top players, classics, recent games. And you can train yourself. You can detect sacrifices with that one red button click. I will, I, you know, I'm in love with this feature. I think chess base 17 is entirely worth because of this one feature. But there is more that will come your way. Uh, I was recently at Tata Steel and I was looking at the games of Anna Muzichuk because uh, she was one of the participants and I was trying to interview her and look at this game that came on the top of the list. I was, I didn't know about it at all. But look at this. She's white. She finds the move rookie six. Nothing spectacular. You take it. I take with the knight and it's all the same. It's a check and you lose the queen. But, but king cannot move. Knight cannot move, queen cannot move, nothing can move. So you play rook d7. Now what does Anna do? She starts bringing her king up. It is insane. And now she plays here a beautiful variation, g4, h5. And the point is if you take here with the pawn, king f5 and white wins this way. That's crazy and by the way a5 was the losing mistake of the game because if a5 was not played and the rook was moved away it's still not easy to break as white because after g4 takes 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 the move is queen c8 giving up this knight and now this is pinned forever so it's a draw but you know i could find this game literally in seconds it was such a beautiful game this king walk, I think it is quite comparable also to Nigel Short's king walk where she gets her king all the way here and then puts it on f5. So, 
let's go to the next feature that i really love the new feature of chess base 17 which is the advanced engine analysis let's talk about the advanced engine analysis and for that i'm going to put in a position here right from the opening this let me first load the engine i do i press ctrl k and let's say I start Stockfish 15. You can use any engine that you have loaded on your Chessbase, uh, Chessbase 17. So let's say I go into the Poison Pawn variation. E4, C5, Knight F3, D6, D4, CD, Knight D4, Knight F6. Why I'm choosing this? It's one of the sharpest lines out there. Bishop G5, E6, F4. And I have absolutely no clue of what is happening here. Queen b2, rook b1, queen a3. This is the starting position. Now, which is the best move? I have never played it from black nor with white. But you will see that there is this very small horse-like horse, horse -like or a dog-like face. It's actually called a buddy engine. And it says use a buddy engine to annotate the lines. Now, when you turn it off, it becomes black. Okay, when you switch it on, it becomes green. Now you must switch it on for it to do its work. Now you will see that I've kept five lines on, which is very useful because this is a very sharp position. And when the buddy does its job here, what is essentially going to happen is that it's going to annotate each and every position here in this line with certain boxes. Do you see those boxes, those colorful boxes that are there? What do these boxes signify? They signify only moves. Think about it this way, that if the difference in evaluation of line one and line two is big enough, then line, then the first move becomes the only move. And now, if you just think about this feature a little deeply, if a line has many only moves in it, many square boxes, the colors will come to later, but oh, many square boxes, you realize, oh my God, this is a very forcing line. So when you're preparing, if a line has many boxes, you want to go for that line because then your opponent has to find many only moves. Okay. So right now it's actually looking at sometimes giving time to buddy helps to remove some of the only moves. Because then it says, oh, the second line the evaluation grew or sometimes boxes come in because the evaluation difference becomes higher and some moves become only moves. If you look at the top line here, you will realize that there are so many only moves here. Fe6, bishop c4, bishop takes e6, knight c5. There were three, four, five, six only moves. And then you start to think, maybe this is the line that I should prepare. You can then, and the beautiful feature here that you could witness was that when you run your mouse over the engine lines, the moves happen on the, over the board automatically. Do you see that? It's happening automatically here. What are the colors signify so colors means let's say first let's take the first move f5 there is a green and a light green which means that if you play the top move you will get a small advantage with white light green means a lower advantage it will still give you a small edge it is going towards yellow yellow is equality so in this there are four colors green is advantage yellow is equal red is bad position or disadvantage and black is mating okay so in that way you will be able to find even if you look at the bifurcation inside if it is a standing vertical line it means that it's sort of a easy move to find if it is a horizontal from bottom left to top right it is a slightly tough move and if it is a line which is going this way, like for example, you will see bishop d3 here. This move was not, it's going from bottom right to top left. It means the move is not easy. So you can see gf6 here, bishop d3, the only move is not a good 
uh, it's slightly tougher to find. So you can, it's not always the case uh, that it is accurate, but it can definitely give you ki, which are the tough only moves to find and so on. So let's say if a box has green and red in it, like let's say queen takes d4 here, you will see that it has a green on left and red on right. It means if you don't play queen takes d4, then you are in big trouble. You are in a minus position and that's very logical because black has just taken on d4. If you don't take it, you will be red. But if you take it, you will be green. Let's look at another example of these only moves or the new engine analysis that is there. And let's also use this as an opportunity to introduce you to the new search mask that exists. So. I open mega database here and I do control F control F is basically opening the filter. You can also click on filter list here. And now this is the new search mask. If you remember, this was the old search mask that was there and it's still there. If you click on the advanced search mask, but this is the new one. Imagine that I wanted to look at a game played by let's say with it. You see I type the name and it comes and it's very useful. And he played a game against MVL. And yeah, here he did. Vashir Lagrav Maxim. And I do okay. And I found some games 13 here. And I do search. I can also put more limitations, restrictions. But right now I want to search games between them. So here they are. And they played a game. Let me sort it by date. They played a game in the Skilling Open, which was an amazing game. I remember it from memory. Uh, so let me start the engine here and let's go over this game carefully because with it showed some amazing bit of preparation here. I remember he blitzed out some huge number of moves, but let's look at the game d4 knight f6 c4 g6 knight c3 d5 the Grunfeld e4 takes takes bishop g7 bishop e3 c5 knight f3 queen a5 queen d2 all mainline stuff here castles rook c1 bishop g4 d5 b5 was played and now if i let this buddy on and let it run i'll re this game becomes extremely sharp at some point and this is something which you can do you can start multiple lines you can even click many lines here and look Already boxes have started to create and you will see here that a5 is the only move here in this position. So even though if bishop e2 is the main move here, but it has no only moves or the boxes there and bishop c5 is the second move, which has a lower revaluation than bishop e2, but has more boxes. I will go for it in my preparation because it forces my opponent to be more accurate. Get it? So. I am now thinking uh, how exactly uh, should he respond. So I can even go here and just make a click of this line and you will see that this entire line is copied here because that was what was played in the game. So bishop takes c5, rook c8, now bishop b4 is the only move here. If you give it enough time you will see the evaluation between these two might change and after queen c7 and d4 a5 is the only move so let's say i play bishop b4 here and d4 if it does not play a5 white gets a serious advantage look at line 2 it has plus 1 so he must play a5 and now bishop a3 is again the only move which with it played again b4 is the only move so this line is a very sharp line again bishop b2 might be the only move queen b6 yes again the only move and now maybe here with it could have improved with c4 and you will see really down the line there is an improvement of castles which is the only move and gives a small edge so you can actually prepare your openings using these boxes very well now remember, there's also a very nice feature here, which is that everything that's happening is explained in words. 
so sometimes such positions you don't understand but you can see here in words it's written white is slightly better black wins a pawn okay that's something also the threat earlier you needed to press x to get what the threat was in this position is black to play but you want to know what if it was white's move what will he do so i used to play press x do you see now i get to know oh b4 is the move just x button on my keyboard but now threat comes directly here i can even click on it and it gets added here as a threat in my notation so threat is something which is very quickly given in in such positions i can even use this for hint button like you can see here toggle hint mode so i can uh, do this and it is actually calculating hints all other moves are bad what should black do here so let's say take here it will actually help you to guess certain moves in some positions threaten a bishop move okay and when i when i click this then it will be like which one bishop g4 maybe is the move so you know these are this hint feature is very good to guess certain moves when you are watching live games it can be very useful there is a text annotation text explanation there is also a threat button here let me show you one more which is one more feature of this uh, engine analysis which is very useful so let's say for example i come here and uh, i go to one database that i have been maintaining uh, chess base india important games okay and this is one of my favorite games is played between two youngsters and they played a crazy game of chess bishop c4 you know he played e takes d4 knight is hanging but vivan played bishop c4 and now the position is extremely complicated i switch on my stockfish engine and i will click here and i will see that buddy engine has started its work and you will see that in this first line many boxes are created right now there are two actually there are three in fact here and by the way if a box has green and black the move becomes very important because green means you get an advantage black means you are mated so it's like a huge difference between the two so you will see that in this particular case with the buddy engine on i am able to even know that in a middle game position what is a very sharp game you know there are many things that are only moves here and that can be very useful so this new type of annotations with boxes colors in it has not been used before and i think it's a game changer overall for your preparation for knowing which are the sharp positions which are the only moves which are and so on look this line now has 1 2 so it goes dc3 queen g5 bishop f5 knight f6 bishop f6 queen f6 cb2 king b1 bishop c2 king c2 queen f5 now only move queen f5 and it goes all the way there and you can see in the explanation it says black is slightly better block black opens the center white threatens mate multiple times fixes the king on g8 bishop c2 is a sack strong rook and then end, end game the rook end game comes here so it goes dc3 queen g5 bishop f5 was found in the game and this was a mistake he should have taken and this would have been a draw or an equal position he went here again the only move was bishop c2 king c2 queen f5 was the only move he finds it rook d3 was the only move and now queen d3 was the only move to get an advantage and he didn't find it he played knight b4 check king b1 and now g5 was again the only move but he found queen d3 and this allowed white to wriggle out with a draw beautiful game beautiful game and uh, with this annotation i can actually appreciate this game even more there's one more feature that i want to introduce you to which is called as visual evaluation when you right click on your engine and there's this thing called visual evaluation and uh, what happens is if you bring your cursor there you will realize what is happening in the position with just colors so you will see that the black king is in red which means it's weak white king is also in red which means it's sort of weak 
all the pieces that are in green are good pieces all the pieces which are in red are weaknesses like the c2 pawn there is a weak pawn so visual evaluation explains to you things very quickly what is happening so board on fire if you see the number of fire there uh, let me just move myself here if you see the number of fire, it is five. So it means it's very sharp position. Gear means the mobility of pieces very high. Pieces are moving very quickly here. So this visual evaluation in one go gives you colors to assess the position. Let's look at one small feature which can be quite important here, which is a new one. This is where the game between Arjun Arigaisi and Aryan Chopra, two young Indian talents ended and Aryan resigned this game. Now you're thinking to yourself, why did he resign? Because the position looks pretty normal. Now earlier when you wanted to analyze such a game, you had to go back to this move and you had to press control and make this move again so that this dialog box comes up and you say new variation and then you start analyzing because otherwise if you made any other moves like here after knight d6, you play rook f6, it keeps on adding to the game. In order to remove all these problems, a new feature has been introduced, which is a small dot here at the end. If you see here, it says, you know, the end of the game. It's a black dot. If you click here, here, just put this mark, end of game. So if there's any analysis after that, it just goes into the analysis mode. So rook f6, and then you're like, okay, what does happen? Ah, knight f5 here is the move. The queen is attacked and the rook is attacked and then it's winning so all this analysis goes into here in this part of the thing which is below the result so this end of the game button this little black dot is very useful uh, you just need moves after it so if the game is ending here you need moves after it and then you go to that point and press end of the game so that all the remaining moves come in analysis Let's talk about a feature that I'm a big fan of, of Chessbase 17. Open, let's say, Mega Database here and uh, press Control F. Now, go to any position. This is a great feature and it opens a board. Now, I'm thinking to myself, hey, there was a game of Vishy Anand where he had his queen moving to F2 and Boris Gelfand had captured a rook here and somehow uh, it was trapped. But I don't remember anything else. You will see that the games are already, you know, added. Do okay. And I can do everyone. Anand. Girlfriend. I can do okay. Search. And I found the most important game that is there in their match between Boris Gelfand and Anand. It was very quick. So this is a small feature which is very useful. Uh, let's look at it in a much more bigger way. Let's say I reset it and I go to any position and I say that do I remember this very famous move? I only remember that Anand played 93 here but I don't remember all other pieces and there it is. Kramnik versus Anand. Okay. And you can do search and you already got this game here. That was a beautiful, by the way, a beautiful combination started from this point where I took, took Rook D1 and 93 and Vishy won this game. By the way, you can also use the end of game feature here. You will see all the analysis done here. So uh, if this, we make it into the main line and we say Fe3, and then put the this black button here, this end of the game button. Then this becomes all analysis, rook c7 and so on. And it becomes a very important thing there. So what is the big use of this feature is that when let's say you are looking at any book, say for example, I have this book of Mark Doretsky and i am looking at a position here so so what is the big use is that let's say you're studying any book like this one is a mark doretsky book that i have here and i put in some random position let's say this one here 
and I'm studying that knight is here, queen on f5. I don't even need to put the full position. If I place a few pieces like this, there you have Sheshkovsky versus Doretsky. Okay, search, and there you have the game already found in a jiffy. But this has more value than just searching. What can happen is, and this is something that I have been thinking about, is that let's imagine that I play bishop h7 in such positions. And I'm like, I want to study the Greek gift positions carefully like this one, something like this. And there will be so many games where such thing has happened with only these pieces. Then I can play around with this rook on f8, rook on e8, rook on d8, wherever I want. But I'll get games like these. And I can do OK. Search. And then I can study this game. What happened here? Where was the Greek gift happened? Oh, he played h4. Very smart. Because he wanted him to castle and then bring his knight. So that if bishop takes, the rook opens up. Oh. And there you have already started your study of this important concept of Greek gift. Imagine that there is this very famous uh, positional pawn sacrifice that you want to study. Let's say I do reset any position and it happens like, you know, you have these pawns like this. Black pawns are like this. Knight is here. And uh, this is sometimes like this. Okay. And what white does is that white pushes his pawn here. 2e5 then black takes it and then white pushes f5 and this happens a lot in many games and there you have it there just by thinking it's moves i made to set up the position right but just look at this there are so many games and if i search let's say some recent games 2000 i have a game of harsha bharat koti here ah but there's a black pawn on e5 but i need to maybe look at certain examples where yeah this one look at this pauli so here search and i go here and i will see that this was played h5 e5 takes f5 and so if you want to show this positional concept if you want to learn it you are able to as a coach this is becomes very quick way it actually the maneuvers feature that you have on chess base which can be done way faster here without in a visual way no you don't have to put in the moves let's say uh, a rook end game with a rook here black rook here and maybe some pawns like this and you can just put these and you don't know where black pawns are and you'll get 127 you get a petrosian game study it improve your rook end game you know, it was this way, king h5. I mean, explore this feature further. It's a very powerful one. The interactive uh, search mask that is there. Let's say that you are studying some kind of a rook end game. Maybe a Lucina position here. Okay. And uh, something of this sort. And you are trying to study this. And then you say that, okay, check here, king comes here, king e7, check. I mean, I could have done it better, but just to show you what the point is. Here, check, rook comes and white wins. And now I want to save it. So when I do control s, it asks me to store in two forms. One is the game, the other is the analysis. And this is a new thing, new feature that has come out, which means that you can actually... Uh, save this as an analysis here you know you can put the name of the annot annotator you can type what you want and you can type the name of your study so let's say if i do it again and let me do it in this analysis here okay and i do sagar shah source is this details is fine english lucina okay now this becomes stored as Lucena here and when I go here to Sunway Sidges, it's already here. 
this is my analysis of lucina so you can store something earlier which was only as a game you can also store as analysis if you want one small little feature to know is that earlier when you pressed alt and left key it would make green if you pressed shift and alt and left key it would make red and if you pressed control and alt and left key it would make yellow now the same buttons with right arrow key give new, new colors alt plus right key blue shift plus alt plus right key light blue and control plus alt and right key is orange so you have three more new colors to use it by the way you might be wondering that why are these arrows so thin that's a new 2, 2d board you can actually go to board design and if you don't like it you can turn it off and you can get back your old board and now the arrows are normal with these so you can get it back but uh, well this new board design is nice you get some kind of a feel and the pieces move better i like it here's a feature which you can think in the way that you want to utilize it go to file go to options miscellaneous misc and here you can tick on announce moves and speak text annotations when you do that and press ok and let's say you open a game and let's say this one now whenever you make moves it will read out knight g1 f3 knight g8 f6 c2 c4 it will also read out let's say here a7 a6 e9 0 king's indian classical early deviations and 6 h3 a2 a4 so the use of this is for your blindfold thinking you can just use this to close your eyes and visualize a game the other advantage is also for the visual Im visually impaired players they can they don't need another software which reads out moves they can have it inbuilt within the chess base 17 itself if you are someone who always wants different styles to be used uh, for your softwares Chessbase 17 comes with a small little drop down at the top right called style. You can click here, it comes with white theme, blue theme, grey theme, black theme. I like the white theme, but there are people who like the black theme, so it will come this way. You can also click here and have the grey theme, blue theme and whichever one you prefer. With the use of new 2D board, you have some features that are very interesting. At the bottom left of the board, you have three green lines. If you click on it, you will get some very interesting things to work with. Show attackers and defenders, which pieces are attacking where. There is also show heat maps with these boxes being created. Show mobility is here and also visual evaluation which shows which pieces are weak, which are strong and so on. So with the new 2D board, these features are activated. Before we go to our final segment, which I will talk a bit about the 2CBH format. Let me just talk to you about the search mask that we were discussing, the new one. So I did talk about the position where you can set it up and it will get uh, populated. But let's imagine that you want to search games between uh, two great players of the past. Let's say Fisher, Robert James Fisher and Boris Pasky. And you want to know that if both of them had ever played Rook end games. So you can go <clears throat> any material, you can clear and you can say white Rook, black Rook and maybe any number of pawns i just want to know if they played ever a rook end game they, you will see six games have already been found i also want to know if, if they played it between the period of 69 to 72 this year because just between this phase then you will see this way and you will do search and you will get four games that were played all rook end games between them and i think it's a very useful thing because instead of looking between two players you can just look at one player here you can remove spasky from here you can say only fisher and did he play any rook end games between this period and you can search and you will find all rook end games that fisher played and this is a very useful feature if you are looking for someone who's good at specific end games for example 
let's say Rubinstein was very good at Rook Endgame. So you can do Rubinstein and you can go to material here and you can say Rook. Okay. And you can also remove the year because uh, he was way before that period. You can also put event strength date so on and I'll do search and I'll find oops search and I'll find all the rook endgames of Rubinstein and I can study them I can study them using now our uh, replay training you already know okay what did Rubinstein do here his f2 pawn is hanging maybe he just defended it king e2 e4 mm -hmm. how should I continue should I go rook c6 I think I should rook g2 okay I don't care about this pawn takes should i go b5 rook g5 b6 yeah i think i should push your move is okay but he went rook a7 so these are small techniques that you can learn b5 a4 rook b7 maybe b6 i think should win comfortably now rook a7 or rook c7 also wins b7 check and queen and in this way okay he played on but I think this is just doesn't need further King F1 was played and he resigned. Very good way to learn Rook endgames or any such things that you want. Coming to a feature that might not look very important on the surface, but improves your ability to work by many, many uh, fold you know you can be very quick and that is this conversion of the 2 cbh format now this format uh, earlier we had a cbh format so let's say if i make a new database here and i make sunway sages i have made but let me make it in the cbh format and i make sunway sages cbh what is the difference between these two so you will see if, if i open the place where this is saved like let me bring out my windows explorer you will see that sunway sages here cbh has created one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen files seventeen in fact while the C, 2 CBH has created 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, only 7. So that really helps. And its space is 270 KB, while this one has 490 bytes. So 2 CBH takes more space, but overall it's very convenient to work uh, with because no longer do you need search boosters and what is a search booster earlier when you had mega and let's say you made this your reference database so that whenever a position is searched here and you click on reference it will go there and search it would create search booster to speed it up then once it was created it would find the position then next time when you would do a mega update like you would go here in this new games and you would say uh, I want to update new games into my mega which comes every week then again it would create search booster because it needed to uh, take into its consideration all the different parameters where you do material search where you do this search that search reference and so on but now with this new 2cbh format you don't have to worry about it 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 is seamless it is quick and it is very uh, reliable so what happens is if you create a new board and look at this look at the speed at which the reference works like this earlier it was unthinkable now it's super quick look at this it and this is because of the 2 cbh format it's very quick it also gives you this more options as we already know of putting in the beauty medal uh in the in the database and there are many more features you get because of 2CBH. But the main thing is that it's ease of work. You can work speedily. And uh, it would be a very good idea to sort of convert your databases that you are working with into 2CBH. 
So let's say, for example, I already have this one, which was sent to me by someone. I can click here and convert in one go into and it'll ask me, do you want to delete old database files? I can decide if I want to or not. I can. Yes. And now I have this into CBH and then I can go here and I can do set beauty. And I can do this. Oh my God. Gukesh versus Wesley. So was very beautiful Ah, because he sacrificed at the end of Bishop and then this and then C1 was hanging very quick. Well, I hope you enjoyed this entire uh, new features of Chessbase 17. There were many that I wanted to show. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll respond to them. The best way to work with Chessbase 17 is with Mega Database. Currently, it's 2023. Later on, you might be watching this. It might be with 2024 as well. Make use of it. Make use of it in your games. Become a stronger chess player. Win tournaments and it will be very, very helpful for you. For now, this is Sagar Shah signing off. Bye-bye.